being amongst the people, especially in the in the Piscine, the trial phase to get into the school and uh, going through the same struggle and you feel the energy around you of everyone driving to to learn more and if you have a question you can shout it out across the room and you get a response and uh, it's it's a way of, of learning that the interaction makes you want to know more and for me that's so far that's been the the greatest thing about 42 is I can't get enough information I want more and more information all the time so Hello, <laughs> my name Hello, is Marcel Stiedl. Um I'm 26 years old, I study at 42 uh, here in Portugal and uh, I was born in Hungary, I was raised in Australia and I did most of my education in Australia and then recently, uh, two years ago I believe, I moved back to Europe to do my previous uh, career when I was a dance artist mm -hmm. and then after that I decided to change to software engineering and now I'm okay. going at that strong. How about you? A little bit so, uh, yeah, my name is Jochen. Um, I'm uh, born in Germany, but in the age of three weeks, I moved to US. So I grew up uh, seven years in US, and then uh, we moved back to Germany. Moved around a lot, um, and uh, I studied in Germany physics. And after my graduation from university, um, I actually started to work for BMW. Um, so I'm with BMW more than 20 years uh, now. I had. Uh, various positions, uh, um, always in software related projects, connected car, infotainment, autonomous driving. And since 2018, I'm part of this incredible journey here in Portugal, creating critical tech works, um, building this up. Um, so my role is launch control director. I'm a member of the board here and I'm responsible for the operations for everything that we do in software development that is uh, customer facing, car related. Um, so basically all the products yeah, that's a that's a customers role. can buy. <laughs> How does this, you know, a, maybe a mindset change come from, you know, from dancing to software? Yeah, uh, look, it was a, quite a spontaneous change. <laughs> uh, I never thought, to be honest, that I would be into software when I was in high school after, my, after finishing either. I always loved mathematics, that was problem solving, was always part of my life, I loved it. And suddenly I thought, look, I have this opportunity at 42, why not try? What happened, well, what could I possibly lose? It's a month of hard work and uh, uh, you don't have to have any basic knowledge of anything. I didn't even know what terminal was in the beginning. And I went there, did this month and I was like, wow, it's amazing. I can, I can put my problem solving skills to something, use my brain in a completely different way. And you still have that aspect of creativity. So I fully enjoyed doing that. And, I mean, we talked about it before, but I guess we can talk about it now. What was the reason you wanted to uh, sponsor for a school like 42? You know, um, the projects that we that we run here, I mean, is a, is a very strong growing field. Digitization is everywhere. The, the software stack uh, or the cars are, I mean, software driven machines Absolutely. today. And this is a very growing path. Um, and uh, we have entered over the, I would say, past 10 years, a very, very high level of complexity um, in the cars. And that also requires, you know, <clears throat> um, very capable people in the software area that, first of all, are technically very capable. But on the other side, uh, in terms of problem solving, um, they really need to be able, you know, to, to, to disassemble this complexity, to, to find the, the best solutions, find a proper way how to solve those problems. Um, so, uh, Ecole 42, you know, is a, is, a, is a very good mix, you know, of, on the one side, um, educating, you know, technical software skills, but on the other side, the way how they, you know, educate people is it's a, it's a very strong self-driven education. So people learn to, to, um, to overcome complex situations and get it into a solution room, yeah? Um, and it is not like in the past anymore, you know, where, uh, where tasks are being distributed by a line manager and then, you know, just you work on those tasks. People are individuals and people need to take care of themselves also, you know, um, we have a very flat hierarchical structure here in the, in the organization because a hierarchical 
level is not able you know, to process all of that what needs to be done. So we really need to put it into teams and to video okay. individuals, give them the full responsibility. Um, but this giving full responsibility and autonomy also comes with rights and obligations. And you know, to, to handle those obligations that you need to carry, um, you need to know what you can do, you need to know what others can do very well, so understanding your own strengths, but also understanding strengths of others and uh, you know, assembling the right complements um, to, to drive the topics. Yeah. Maybe a question to you, so um, what do you think you know, uh, Equal 42 is preparing you for the future and you know, uh, what, is, what do you think is special about it? <laughs> What do I think is special? Well, I mean, I've experienced uh, mainstream education. I've also experienced alternative education. I went to, I don't know if you know, Waldorf schools, so like yeah. Rudolf Steiner schools. I, yeah. I grew up in a Steiner school and uh, it's interesting because I could relate a lot to that when oh, I came into 42. Obviously, I feel 42 is a, is a less centralized <laughs> version and more like freedom and of course you get to do however you want it with uh, whatever enthusiasm you have. But so far, I think it's uh, one of the best systems I've ever been in. Um, it really gives you the opportunity to progress at your own speed, to, as you said, be self-driven. And uh, I've grown so much in that. For example, before, uh, before I started 42, I had the idea of, oh, maybe I can try something by myself. Maybe I can look at some videos and learn a bit of C, learn a bit of front end even. And, I started doing it and, and there was absolutely no drive. I was just, mm. oof, uh, you know, like, ah, oh, I, I can code a little bit. and But even then you just go online, find the answer, done. And it's, it's just not really learning. Mm -hmm. And I almost gave up on this. And then someone told me, oh, maybe we should just try this 42 mm. system. And it was completely different to, to what I expected to still being self-learning, self-teaching. But yeah, it's, it, it's hard to describe really, but it, it, for me, experiencing other forms of education so far, this has been the, the most efficient even. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've been yeah. programming for eight months and already I, I can create things I've never dreamed of being able to create. Yeah. So, And just what you said, I think, uh, you know, two topics that, uh, which I think are really great statements. Um, uh, you said, uh, you know, do it, do it with your own speed. Yeah, um, I think this is very important. Uh, you know, not to have this, you know, standard orchestrated curriculum and everything goes on the standard speed. Um, so some people are left behind and some maybe are on top of it. One of our values, by the way, here at Critical Tech Works, uh, is um, we don't want to leave anyone behind. Um, so we also, you know, try to, to respect that uh, speed in different proficiency levels, in different you know, seniority levels is different. The other topic uh, I would like to mention, uh, what I also heard is when, when you mentioned about, you know, you started to learn in YouTube and so on, but then you almost stopped doing it. Um, I think there is this, you know, mystification sometimes in software that uh, it's about sitting in front of a monitor and, you know, writing code and, you know, it's a, it's a very lonely thing. Mm. And actually, you know, creating great code, creating great products is actually the complete opposite. Um, it's really teamwork. Um, it's being assembled in a team, it's, you know, using skills and knowledge from others. It's uh, bringing all of that together, you know, having proper grooming, having proper refinements. Um, educating each other, um, um, teaching business knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's really a joint thing and creating great products in software is a lot more than maybe, you know, the code creation is the smallest part of it. Uh, it's really understanding what the customers desire, yeah? Um, 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 refining this into a business logic and then, you know, applying this business logic then into code and doing this jointly because normally you want to develop in a, in a team. Yeah? Um, so it's really a joint thing, it's really a team thing and um, therefore I think it's very important that you know, every modern software company um, is you know, emphasizing and supporting a lot you know, to have these team structures. Mm. Yeah? Absolutely, and it's great to know this because I feel like 42 is, is working very hard to, to yeah. achieve this kind of thing. You know? 
even us doing, we do very small group projects, but they already, you get crazy insight into the other people's mind and that is only code of course, but uh, still I can only imagine how like, an actual company and how mm. to put everything together with doing it by yourself yeah. is just impossible. Yeah. And I was wondering because obviously today's biggest topic is AI. True. <laughs> <laughs> right now with this new uh, surge of, of artificial intelligence. How, how have you guys started to think about kind of incorporating this kind of thing or, or trying to work with AI and autonomous driving or this kind of thing? Uh, this was just some little question I had. Uh, yes, for autonomous driving, AI plays a role. <clears throat> it, it starts, I would say, more from the machine learning side and then, you know, really coupling different layers where you go into deep learning. Um, uh, when it, for instance, comes to um, uh, to labeling of, you know, all the sensor detections we have, I mean, we have great sensors yeah. in the car, uh, lidars, um, cameras, ultrasonic, um, and you need to, to map all of that into something. You need to label that and of course we cannot label the entire world and we cannot label real time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the idea is, you know, really to learn mm -hmm. what is being done um, by some, some core labeling and then really have automated processes also applying AI um, to get into that. Um, I mean, the, the big question that currently comes up is, um, will AI create code in future? Um, and do we need software development in the future? Yes. Uh, so, it's a big <laughs> thing in school as uh, well. <laughs> people that are not knowledgeable, I tend to say, uh, if they come up with this expression, okay, do we need software developers in future because AI will replace that, uh, they have no idea of AI. Um, <clears throat> so the, the truth is, um, AI might um, change or transform some software development skills that we have today into something new. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You can use ChatGPT today and you know, ask, raise a question. Sometimes there's a complete nonsense that comes out and sometimes it's really true and it's really great what comes out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, so you need to have something that can provide a quality control because when it comes about cars that are out there, they need to be you know, on 100% quality level. This is not something where you can't just send people out and uh, exactly cars. yeah so i think skill profiles will transform into something new mm -hmm. i think tooling around code generation will increase significantly and you know maybe you know some 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 basic things like you know just you know this um, um, application development or so will decrease from a point of view yeah and you know uh, not just to say that i mean this AI also needs to be created. Uh, created. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen yeah, by itself. Yeah. Yeah, so there's also something that needs to be done. Ah, that's yeah. great. That's so Marcel, let's have a toast uh, to Ecole 42. I wish you personally very good success and you know that you are successful in Ecole 42 and that they prepare you best for the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>